Hello and welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I thought that I would continue my how-to series and I'm going to clip Ina today and I'm going to take you guys along and give you all my tips and tricks uh, and show you how I clip her. <laughs> And the first thing I'm going to do is go back into the stables and change my clothes. I'm going to put a raincoat on and some long chaps and gloves um, so I don't get all those little itchy hairs on me. But I'm probably going to get really itchy anyway and probably I'm going to get too warm. Um, but that is what I do. I think I'm going to take this fleece um, top off um, because clipping... A horse takes quite a long time and you get quite warm so think about what clothes you're wearing and also wash your clothes after you've been clipping your horse. So now I'm gonna take Ina inside the stables and um, I've been here early it's like 9 30 at the moment uh, to muck out and let all the horses out, all the four horses that I need to let out. Um, I have uh, mucked out Ina's little uh, paddock here and uh, brought out new water for her. So, um, yeah, it's time to take her in. But I thought that I would give you guys a couple more tips and it is that uh, make sure that your horse is clean. Uh, and that it's dry before you start clipping so I know that Ina is both clean and dry but I will brush her a bit before starting uh, to clip her uh, also make sure that uh, you have a little brush at hand so you can keep brushing the horse as you clip them uh, and I usually also have like a little uh, scoop thingy and a uh, brush to clean up uh, everything on the floor because it can get quite slippery with all the uh, fur there. So now I'm gonna get in up. Hey girlie! You ready to get clipped? Yeah. Hey! So I need both hands now to pop the head collar on. Hey. But as you can see, she is quite furry and uh, it's not that it's long, it's just pretty thick. So now when I've, uh, I'm going to start putting Ina back into work, um, she's going to get sweaty if I ride her indoors. So that's why I'm going to clip her. Let's pop the head collar on. So Ina is inside and I have prepared um, with these guys here so that we're going to stand pretty close to the door so she can't uh, move around too much and I have actually locked the door um, and we have the outlet here so that's why I need to be close to the door <laughs> so this cord is... Um, gonna reach and uh, so I already checked that the clipper is working uh, and then what I do is that I'm gonna oil up the clipper and I have my oil here like so and in this little hole here and on the sides there we are uh, and then I'm gonna take in a out and tie her up and I forgot to mention that this little knob you turn this uh, one and a half um, turns one and a half um, so that the clippers are fastened enough but are not too tight because then they get too hot and then every 10 minutes I will Oil up the clippers again, let it rest a bit, brush it off. Um, so 
always make sure that the clipper is not too hot. And what I do uh, to check that is actually put my back of my little hand against the clipper like that um, to see if it feels too hot on my skin. Then if it feels too hot on my skin, then Ina won't like it either. So I'm going to tie Ina up now. So Ina is clean now and it is time to start clipping. I'll probably put some music over this part because the clippers are really loud. If you have a horse that is sensitive to sound or have never been clipped, you need to kind of desensitize the horse and get it used to the, both the sound and the sensation of the clippers because the clippers is like vibrating a bit. Um, so what I would do is uh, kind of like stroke the horse with the clippers when it's off and then uh, stand a bit further back, put the clippers on. You can also um, have a little air bonnet on and pop some um, dampened uh, like cotton, uh, like piece of big piece of cotton inside the horse's ears. So uh, it's more like an earplug. Um, and also take it easy and um, just make sure that you're calm. And so yeah, just desensitize your horse, do it bit by bit. And uh, if it's like impossible to clip your horse, you can always ask your vet to come out to um, give your horse a sedative. Um, but that might uh, make your horse even more tense. Um, so I would try to work on uh, the trust and yeah, desensitize the horse and get it just used to everything around the clipping. Okay, I'm gonna start clipping here now. I keep stopping because I keep remembering things um, that is just like uh, normalized for me. So uh, what I do is um, with the cord is that I put it over my shoulder so it is never on the floor um, because if the horse step um, on this cord with the shoes, obviously that's not going to end up well since this is electrical. Uh, so I keep the cord on my shoulders and um, also I'm going to quickly show you guys when I start where I start clipping on the horse and then how uh, how I keep working um, from there uh, as well as a couple of tips on uh, what to think about when you're actually clipping. So I'm going to turn the camera around now. So I usually start uh, in the shoulder area here and I uh, you go against the hair so what I do is I start down here and then I just keep going upwards and within the um, against the hair growth so to say uh, and then I'm also gonna be if there's a line here like so I'm gonna overlap that a little bit so there's no harsh lines so I'm gonna put it on now make two lines and I'll show you guys what I mean So as you can see, this is left from the um, oil, so I just need to go over, go over here again. Because if the clipper is a bit wet, then it'll leave like a little oil stain, but that's gonna fix itself, sort itself out, so to say. But as you can see, I've overlapped um, each little stroke like this. Um, I would say by a quarter with the machine. I hope I'm explaining this properly, but I think you guys gonna get the picture. So I start at the shoulder, then I'm gonna do her whole uh, neck. Then I'll do um, basically the whole front area here as well as the head. And then I'm gonna work my way um, up on the belly and then do her hindquarters. And then I'll do the legs and then I'll also do the hole underneath of the belly and then I will uh, switch to the other side. And as you can see there's a outlet over here in the wall so then I'll switch uh, the cord to that side as well. But I'm going to pop you guys over here on the little stool so you get a 
bit more of a panoramic view here or just yeah see being able to see Ina while well, I clip her. So we clip the horse so it's easier to keep the horse clean as well as for it to dry faster. Since we take off the fur we need to rug the horse. And how much you clip your horse totally depends on how much you're riding, if you're riding a lot indoors or outdoors, if the horse uh, is turned out a lot or if it's in a stable. And it also depends on the weather where you're living. There are different types of clipping and I'm doing a full clip on Ina but there are different types and you can for example do a hunter clipping where you clip uh, just the front part of your horse, basically half the horse. So I've moved Ina further back now, I'm gonna clip her head, I don't think that the cord will reach otherwise. Uh, I'm also going to, um, or I've actually just oiled up the clippers again, I'm gonna let it rest so it doesn't become too warm. I brushed Ina off as well as you could see. Uh, so now I'm gonna clip the head, I think I'm gonna move the camera now and see if I can get it on the side. Um, and then I'm gonna work uh, my way back to her belly and her back and her hindquarters. If you're clipping a horse that's never been clipped before or if it's a spooky horse or maybe it's a new horse to you then it could be a good idea to wear a helmet. It could also be a good idea to kind of divide up the clipping over a couple of days so that the horse don't have to stand still for too long and also maybe slowly get used to the clipping. Remember to keep your clippers steady and firm against the horse's skin. Try to clip efficiently with long strokes and take pauses or small breaks when the horse gets too fidgety and impatient. Also remember to oil your clippers every 10 minutes, let it cool down a bit and it could also be a good idea to take that time to brush your horse thoroughly and see if there's any bits that you've missed. And when you're done clipping, remember to brush the horse really thoroughly and if you're able to maybe give it a bath as well. So I would say that I've managed to uh, finish clipping one side and uh, I thought that I would do the other side off camera to be a bit faster because now I've moved the camera around and things like that. Um, but as you can see, I've done a little triangle back here. So what I do is I just angle the clipper and go like so. Uh, and here, as I said, I've already already clipped her before so I had a little uh, line here to look um, for um, but as you can see I need to work a bit more on the details here uh, and then when I'm gonna do her legs uh, I'm not gonna cut her whole legs I'm gonna do a line like so because uh, I'm gonna follow where basically her the black part of her leg starts and just cut everything off that is uh, bay and same thing with her front legs so I'm gonna try to attempt to make more like a of a V shape here just above her knee uh, I also need to finish up a bit more 
in the front here. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Um, and uh, I will <laughs> leave half the legs because she has pretty short hair and uh, you have to, there is like a lot of maintenance if you clip your whole horse's legs. Um, I know a lot of people that have show horses do that and as in showing, not uh, like show jumping or dressage. Because um, a lot of those horses may, might have a lot of hair and that might cause a lot of problem with bacteria and things like that. But also a lot of show horses that do like show jumping, eventing and dressage, well, they will cut um, the uh, whole horse with the hair on the leg as well. Um, but uh, you have to remember that most of these people also have uh, grooms <coughs> and um, maybe f facilities where the horses don't go out in massive uh, paddocks or are out all the whole day, but they're out a couple of hours and then they go on the horse walk and they're ridden and they're constantly being washed on their legs to get all the sand and everything away. Um, so I'm just gonna do what's good for me and my horse and that is keeping this little patch on the back and doing half the legs um, to keep it simple and easy. Uh, and as you can see, uh, you know, it was really good when I clipped her on the head. Um, she's used to that, but as I said, uh, if you have a horse that is not, that's never been clipped or um, is not desensitized enough or maybe is like really scared uh, when you touch its ears or things like that, then you really need to work on your trust. And um, Ina was really good with clipping when I bought her, so uh, she has gotten a really good, uh, like, early experiences in her life when it comes to clipping. Um, so I can use the big clipper to clip her ears and everything. Uh, why I use the small clippers is just to get a bit more detail and I felt like the big clippers was like a bit too clumsy to be honest. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna keep clipping the other side now, be a bit faster uh, and I'll show you guys the end result. And uh, I'm also gonna do all the detailing as I said. Um, I think for another time I'm gonna uh, do the details maybe tomorrow again with the small clippers uh, because after you brush the horse and washed it then you'll see like where you've kind of missed little strands of hair uh, here and there so that is the plan and Ina is getting a bit more not I wouldn't say impatient but she's getting a bit tired of just standing here and doing nothing so I'm gonna be quick now uh, for her sake so yeah back to clipping so I'm finished clipping in and now and I'm gonna show you the end result. I did fail a bit with the legs. Uh, the lines are really uneven. It wasn't like a V shape. So I tried to make it like a straight line. Obviously that doesn't really work. Yeah. Uh, but I'm quite pleased that I have clipped her now and that uh, she is looking so much better. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys the end result. video I hope you enjoyed it please leave a thumbs up if you like this video please also comment down below do you clip your horse have you clipped your horse this year uh, or this uh, winter and also did you find this video interesting please comment down below please also subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one bye